He didn't have it that bad. <laughs> that's a nice ass place. For sure. Like, that's beautiful. But can I please get exiled? <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is your favorite couple from the Midwest, uh, Kansas, aka Kansas. Yeah. Um, today we're going to be taking a look into another British idol called Guernsey. That's how you pronounce it? Yeah, yeah, you, pr you pronounce it Guernsey. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we, so we checked out recently Jersey, hmm. uh, even though apparently it was not a very good video. Uh, again, it was sent, I liked it. It was sent to me by someone that lived there, so... Take it up with him. Take it up. I, obviously, he, he wasn't the biggest fan of where he lives. Um, it was so funny, baby, though, and just kind of cool to check check it out. I had no idea about it at yeah. all. So anyway, apparently Guernsey's the better place. The smaller. All those, all those smaller. Apparently, it's better. So anyway, guys, we're going to be just checking out Guernsey Vacation Travel Guide. This is from the channel Expedia. It's, it seems like it shows a lot of little like places to visit. Yeah, it's like a travel guide. Yeah, so, exactly. literally in the title. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I figured this would be a decent video, though, just to kind of get an idea in case we ever want to go to Guernsey. Because, again, we've not heard of Guernsey until well, we heard of Jersey. And apparently they go together <clears throat> slash don't go together. Yeah. So, that's why we're here. Anyway, guys, before we get into the video, you all know what to do with the YouTube. Just just do it. Uh, you uh, As always, all my social media, contact information, email, whatever, is down in the description below. Uh, with that being said, let's get right into this video and check out the little island, Isle, British Isle. Yeah, I think. Country, place, Guernsey. The Channel Island. Just a 45 minute flight from England and a 30 minute flight from France is Guernsey, the second largest of the Channel Islands. Just 25 square miles in area, this pocket sized British crab. So it's like 5 by 5 Yeah. The other one was 9 by 5 Yeah. That's actually a really nice little It's area. almost half the size. Yeah, it's almost, a, that is a nice little, sorry I paused it so soon, but that is a nice <laughs> little um, in between. Oh yeah. 35 to England, 30 to France. Yeah. 25 square miles in area, this pocket-sized British crown dependency is big on sunshine, serenity, and history. Ooh, Ooh that's pretty. Separated from the French coast of Normandy 8,000 years ago by rising sea levels, Guernsey's fortunes have been periodically shaped by the crosswinds of trade and the crossfire of war. For those who've called this island home, Guernsey has long been a safe harbor, a place of pride and inspiration. Oh, that's cool. Guernsey's capital, St. Peter Port, was a trading post long before the Romans settled <laughs> Tiny little lighthouse. <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. I saw them when I was in Boston. They just, they're, they're, they're like so tiny. It's like, what's the point of them? <laughs> they're tiny, but they have a big light. You could just like a little wooden post out there to be the same thing. I don't know. I just think they're funny. They've got to withstand the winds. It is really pretty though. Yeah. I'm surprised. All islands are so pretty though. Guernsey's capital, St. Peter Port, was a trading post long before the Romans settled here around the year 200. Today, this harbour town is one of the prettiest in Europe, where it seems every window reflects the English Channel's many moods. <laughs> Standing guard over the harbour for over 800 years That's is cool. Castle Corne. Oh, that water. Look at that water. It's so clean. For over 800 years is Castle Corne. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see through it. That's it's just pretty. super clean. That's so cool. Climb the ramparts for views back to the garden. town and out to the sister islands of Herm and Sark. Why is the cannon ported back to the... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was laughing at. I was like, I saw the cannon, I was like, oh. <laughs> there is shoot people coming onto the fort, maybe, I guess. Hold your ears at the firing of the noonday gun. Oh. Oh, cool. they shoot it. The castle's barracks, which holds some of the island's finest museums. Experience centuries of drama at the story of Castle Cornet. Set sail into the island's seafaring past at the Maritime Museum. Then explore the island's rich military heritage, which dates back to the formation of the Royal Guernsey Militia in the 14th century. Seems like it's got a lot of history. Yeah. 
continue your history lesson back in town at the Guernsey Museum and Art Gallery. Ooh. Discover like the, the island's museum. first peoples, its folklores and superstitions, and the artists whose creations were inspired by the island's incredible beauty. It does, again, it's not fair to Jersey because of the video we watched, but this does seem like it has a lot to offer. Yeah, a little more cultural. I don't know, I mean, it could be the same. I'm not for sure, I'm not trying to like <laughs> pit Jersey against Guernsey, but oh, this is very pretty. I, I'm really surprised by this. I don't know why. So know, far, Jersey seemed like it had more beaches and I know land. islands are usually really pretty, but the, the fact that there's so much here. Oh yeah. Like not just the history, like there's castles. It's there's, more touristy, it seems. Yeah, there's a lot to, to offer. Yeah. Just outside in Candy Gardens stands a tribute to Victor Hugo, the giant of 19th century literature who fell under Guernsey's spell. Exiled from his native France, in 1856, Hugo took Ooh. up residence at Hortville House, which he personally decorated with bric-a-brac collected from his endless island wanderings. Bric-a-brac? Wow. wow. Climb the stairs to the fourth floor crystal room. Hugo spent his mornings here, wow. penning his epic Les Miserables, while pausing occasionally to look across the bustling port That's to his so beloved cool. homeland. Okay, I, 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 I'm sure he was heartbroken because he obviously probably loved France, but can I please get exiled? <laughs> if I'm going to be exiled, I'm going to go there. I'm sorry, it's like, I, I know it probably was torture, like being able to see it and know you can never go. Yeah. Like that, you know, patriotic pride <laughs> and stuff, nationalism, but he didn't have it that bad. <laughs> Well, that's a nice ass place. <laughs> For sure. Like, it's beautiful. Pausing occasionally to look across the bustling port to his beloved homeland. By afternoon, the writer took long walks past Lavalette bathing pools that's cool. and along a coastline. I love the look of that. Yeah, like, it's oh. like part of the time, it, I think that's part of the same thing. You can't see it, but I'm um, <laughs> pointing at the screen, obviously. Okay. So it looks like there's a walkway, but it, part of the time it gets the ocean covers. Yeah, yeah, I saw that's that. really cool. I saw, I saw this, it's just like right level. I saw with the, the steps ocean. earlier. I wonder if this with the mask. I wonder if this is another castle. Oh, up there at the yeah. top, looks like one. It took long walks past Lavalette bathing pool. So yeah, that's I'm pretty yeah. sure that's France. Oh, far and along in the distance. Yeah. Line that a decade later would inspire the paintings of fellow countryman Renoir. Oh wow. Follow that same coastal path, Steep. which now passes overgrown coastal defenses like Clarence Battery, to sheltered beaches like Petty Bot Bay. Petty. While Guernsey's dramatic coastline often steals the show, Ooh, wow. you'll find plenty to inspire inland too. In the parish of Castell, Relax amid the nature trails and floral displays of Saint Marie Park. Those are cool. In the parish of Saint Martin, wander the stately rooms of Saint Marie Manor. That's cool. There's some really nice houses there. <laughs> then explore the estate where the island's legendary flowers sway amid the lyrical sculptures and the rhythmic beats of the coppersmith's hammer. Oh, well. But it's not just the coast and interior that captivates visitors. Guernsey's underground offers plenty of fascinating and sometimes sobering surprises too. Huh. During World War II, the German occupiers constructed vast subterranean complexes all over the island. Interesting. Step into the damp netherworld of the German underground hospital. So it was occupied by Germany for a while. I think Jersey was too. People mentioned that. Oh really? I think the, uh, the Isles were the only things that were occupied uh, that England had. So I wonder if by they both Germany. have some of that heritage pushed into their culture as well Germans? now. Yeah. I have no German idea. Heritage. It's really cool the fact that this is just there though. <laughs> I know. Like all these, all these like, like huge bunkers, uh, underground bases. Yeah. Well, they were probably. I'm sure they were probably setting these up so that they could like attack England. Well, yeah. They, but it's still like just a stopping point. I hope they mention like what they're used for now. They're probably just a museum. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Just that's cool. The fact that they did all this. Yeah. All this building during war. Oh yeah. It's just, I don't know. It's just crazy. Step into the damp netherworld. It's really pretty now. That's just. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like, that's like really pretty. Everything's overgrown. It's like a rainforest. It reminds me of the German underground hospital. A maze of tunnels hewn from solid rock by hundreds of forced laborers. Oh, that's not good. 
Just on the outskirts of St. Peter Port, a former U-boat fuel depot now houses the La Valette Underground Military Museum. Back in town, visit the German Naval Signals HQ, which sent out its very last signal on an Enigma code machine two days after Germany's official surrender. After the war, German equipment littered the island and scavenging became a popular pastime. Huh. For one schoolboy, collecting became an obsession, which quickly outgrew his family's cottage and necessitated the construction of a purpose-built museum. Oh, here she collected all that. Yeah. Today, the German Occupation Museum displays an incredible array of wartime memorabilia and pays tribute to the resourceful islanders who endured the years of occupation. Enjoy. So I guess their occupation wasn't that bad. Sourceful islanders who endured the years of occupation. What? Well, they endured. Okay. Yeah, as I said, no, it wasn't a good thing. That he they said endured. endured. No. Okay, that makes more sense. I don't know what this means. Keep your heads. Don't be yellow. Business as usual. Keep Why it. am I not understanding this? I don't know. Maybe that was their motto. Maybe it was so just. people well, maybe carry just on with your lives. We're just much. here. Yeah. I had no idea that like this existed. <laughs> It'd be really, really cool to check this out. That would be cool. After spending a few hours wandering through the shadows of war, Love stepping back into the island's sea air and sunshine is all the more sweeter, which very much sums up the magic of Guernsey. For no matter where we're from or what we've endured, Guernsey is one of those places which invites us to stop, breathe, and appreciate nature's gifts and to reconnect with the quiet, enduring spirit inside us all. Uh, one thing I noticed, it seemed like, at least with their footage that they used, it was kind of just showing the same stuff over and over, so maybe there really is not that much to the island. Well, there's probably like it's a... like just the one big town. Yeah, there's probably a tourist area, obviously. Yeah. But still, it's, I don't know, I mean, just that alone is very, very pretty. Yeah. I was wanting to look at the population. Oh. So, yeah, okay, according to Google, it says at the end of September 2020, Guernsey's population was 63,329. The pop population increased by 0 0.246 people over the year. So it doesn't sound like too many people moved there, but they still have population growth. Yeah. Uh, 63,000 for a small area like that, definitely. Not quite half of what was in Jer Ger Jersey. More than half. Yeah, it's more than half. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> Considering the island's like half. Yeah. There's still quite a few people. I don't know. Like, I feel like we need to redo a Jersey video because I don't want to bash Jersey. But I do feel like it, this was a lot prettier and had more to offer. I don't know. I disagree because Jersey seemed like it had more pretty stuff to offer landscape-wise, which I yeah, enjoy true. almost more than city. But this had, well, not city, but this had more museums. Yeah, a lot more history. It's it, okay. Like to Again. Based off the other, we can't go off the other video. We're gonna, We've we, never been there. We haven't experienced We're going to have to look up Jersey because I, a lot of people were saying it has a lot of history and stuff too. Okay. So we'll just have to redo no, another video on Jersey. If you guys have a good one, send it our way through the Discord or Instagram for an island that had a lot to offer. Like, I feel like... Of all those things, though, I think I want to go visit that guy's house, Hugo's house. <laughs> that was so cool. It seemed very unique. It reminded me a little bit of that art, uh, art museum place I went to in Boston. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me about that. I mean, that place was massive, uh, but it was just a very... It, since it was her own private collection, so yeah. it was just so unique to her. Yeah. The museum I was talking about that's in Boston is called the Garnier Museum. Uh, definitely check it out if you're interested in art or museums or gallery, whatever. Uh, I actually had a very some very famous painting stolen from there mm -hmm. a while back. There's actually still a reward for it. Mm -hmm. It's just a really really cool place. But the main the fact that it was a her private residence, yeah, like that she all donated that was all hers. She had collected over the years. It is the the building was massive. The art was impressive. It is one of those amazing things. It's the Isabel Stewart Gardner Museum. That's the full name of it. Yeah. Uh, I'll post a link of it down in the description for anyone who's interested. Anyway, guys, uh, that was definitely an interesting video. I don't know, Guernsey, for an island, especially as small as it is, seemed like it had a lot to offer. It's probably one of those, if you live there, you've probably been everywhere. And you <laughs> probably... the entire island. Like, maybe, you okay, might then. It might be one of those places, like, it loses a little bit. Oh, maybe maybe not, maybe there. not. But it seems like when people live well, in those areas, you kind of Well, living in lose. a tourist town, because I've done that, um, <laughs> I used to live in Branson, or at least near there. And it's very touristy, and there's always something to do. 
but it gets a little old after a while. Yeah, it loses its appeal. All right, anyway, guys, let us know what you thought of the video down below in the comments. Uh, Hashtag Guernsey or Jersey? Jersey. <laughs> I can't even speak. <laughs> Like she said, uh, do hashtag Guernsey or Jersey for which one you guys like better. Obviously, we're just some random Americans. <laughs> they have never been to either one. We don't, don't really know. Don't hold it against us. We're just spitballing here. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We will catch you guys in the next one. Please be safe. Take care. Look after one another. And cheers.